What is happening, everybody? This is Jesse Lee, and uh, we're in our Clavio SMS tutorial. I think this is part 4B, I want to say. And in this one, we're talking about uh, uploading SMS contacts to Clavio. And so in this video, I'm going to show you how to import a list of SMS subscribers from another provider into Clavio. So this is if you're coming over from SMS Bump, Yachtpo, uh, Attentive, Blueprint, uh, any of those and uh, we're gonna do this without getting stuck on formatting issues or uploading errors All right, so this is actually uh, one of um, multiple parts in this uh, I'll link the whole guide below so you can uh, check out the other videos But this is six or sorry seven major parts. We're on number four here importing consent I'm actually gonna do a 4a B C. Uh, I think we're uh, we already did a 4a this one's 4b and then we're going to do a 4C specifically on troubleshooting because otherwise this video is going to go really long. So just know that the whole guide's link going to link will, uh, be linked below. Um, and because I don't long, like long in intros, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so importing an SMS uh, SMS subscriber list to Clavio. So there's a couple things we have to make sure that we have to do. All right, the first thing we have to do is we have to exclude the list, right? We have to exclude this list from any welcome flows you may have live. And there's a reason I'm going to tell you about that in just a moment. And then uh, the other thing is that we have to make sure uh, to upload the list with correct formatting. So I'm going to go over both of these in this video. And in the trouble shooting video, we'll talk about if you get errors on the upload process. All right. So let's go over the first uh, topic here. Excluding the list from any welcome flows you have live. All right. So why would you want to do this? Well, if you're coming over from another um, another provider, let's say you're coming over from Attentive or you're coming over from SMS Bump, well, chances are when you got consent on that platform, I'm willing to bet you probably already sent all of those people a welcome message, right? So when you upload to Clavio, the default, uh, let me head into my dashboard here. If you look at the default SMS, um, let's see, SMS... I think I set up a demo. Yeah, okay, so here, here's the demo flow, right? Uh, when you look at uh, this demo flow, the, the trigger is when someone is consented to receive SMS. Meaning, if you import a bunch of subscribers and all of a sudden, Clavio, when you go through the process, they get labeled with consent because that's how they came in. This is, this is going to basically kick off, um, this, this text is gonna be sent to everyone, all right? So the first thing you could do to avoid this, you could just put it in manual mode. And what will happen in manual mode, if you upload, what's going to happen is you'll see these analytics. Uh, it's going it's, to take a little bit to load. But what's going to happen is um, you'll see waiting as one of the possible analytics in there of contacts who are waiting to be sent to. So you can put it in manual, upload the list, and then go through and clear out the waiting before you set it live. Uh, you can go about that route, but the route I like is actually just filtering so I don't have to shut this off for my current subscribers who are signing up on the website, uh, is excluding the list in the trigger filter. So I'm going to show you the list that we created. Um, you know what? Uh, actually, yeah, uh, I can do this fresh. This is going to be good. This is a really good example. We haven't put it on here yet. Uh, I was thinking I put it on this, but I think I did it in another video as you can see demo upload list um, what we're gonna do is create a list called fictional subscribers all right so let's go in here I think I already created it when I was making my demo right uh, yeah fictional subscribers I already created this here um, but I'm gonna go ahead and create it new so that you can see how to create a new list all right now again this is gonna be a list not a segment and uh, that video has already been made if you haven't seen it on my channel go check out this playlist all right so this is gonna be Fictional subscribers, no, subs, uh, SMS subscribers, SMS subscribers. All right. Now we're going to create this list, right? Now here's where we would normally upload. All right. But again, we don't want to accidentally send to all those people in that welcome flow. Um, so here's my fictional subscriber CS. This is my uh, <laughs> my CSV, and you're going to see when. You get your export from whatever company you're dealing with, whether it's Blueprint, whoever it is. Um, you're going to see a lot of uh, crazy columns that you may or may not need. Um, and we'll talk about the columns you need. Uh, in fact, let me go back there. Uh, well, yeah, let me just touch on the formatting. The only three columns you need are the phone number, the country code, or column, or the timestamp. 
Uh, now, country code or column, um, notice in here, um, there's no country column. If I go, I got name, email address, timestamp, phone number, consent, birthday, dog's name, grandma's secret identity. There is no country column, right? So what do you have to do? You actually have to create a country column, right? So if you didn't get one, you need to, when you go to export from your current uh, SMS provider, you need to ask them, hey, can you please export it with a country column? Uh, so we're going to say country here. And we're going to put uh, for the country is going to be USA. All right. Now, um, a bunch of this other stuff you don't need. You can leave it, right? You can leave it, in which case it'll be fine uh, if there's no errors. But then that's, that's what the next video is going to be about, is if you get errors on the upload process, what can you do to actually shift things around and make this to where you're minimizing all of those errors? All right, so we'll talk about that in the next one. But for this one, uh, I already have exported this to my desktop. Um, so, and if this, by the way, if this is a U.S. phone number, um, I'm going to show you another formatting uh, trick. Uh, right now, the easiest way to, to uh, make this country... Uh, identification happen is by doing the country column and then uh, putting the country there. You can also add a plus sign before this, which I'm going to show you the concatenate formula in the next video. I won't do that in this one, but you can also make this uh, have a plus in front of it and then a one. So the country code is there. If that is the case, then you wouldn't need this USA country column. But again, we won't worry about that right now. Just know that that is an option. But for right now, um, let me go back. So here, uh, again, we don't want to upload the contacts yet because we want to exclude the, uh, this list of contacts from my SMS welcome flow. So let's go to my SMS demo flow, right? Um, and here's how we're going to exclude this, right? As you can see, I already had, if I click on this, I'm not sure why this is. This always takes a couple minutes for it in the flow editor. And it's weird. It's only on this computer, too. It doesn't happen on my laptop, um, which is odd because this computer functions faster. So apologies for the delay here. But OK, there we go. It's reacting now. I click. It does things. All right. So in the trigger itself, you're going to click on the trigger. Here's how you filter out that would be list. Right. We're going to go to flow filters before we upload again. I'm making that caveat. I'm going to make that known a bajillion times in this video. So in the filters, you might already have some filters set. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to say, we're going to filter and say uh, select a condition. And what this is going to be is if someone is or on not on a specific list, All right? And we're going to say is not, right? Because we're excluding the list we're going to be uploading. And then we're going to choose the list. And we're going to choose this fictional SMS subscribers. Now, when we hit save, what's going to happen? Well, now we have these SMS uh, subscribers being filtered out as soon as they get uploaded, which means they're not going to get sent this welcome series. So uh, this is a big deal. I, we actually, I remember one time the company I work at, uh, I deal with this every day and I've had customers actually accidentally do this. And one of my, my, uh, <laughs> one of the people on my team uh, accidentally, she didn't um, like the customer that we had we were working with that we we're consulting for did not properly exclude this list and they accidentally sent a welcome text to like 10,000 people now in the end it wasn't a big deal because they made a ton of revenue off of it but they could have avoided that kerfuffle so just so you know when you upload that just know that you do have to filter out that list uh, either that or you can put this in manual mode whichever one you want to do I like the list filter personally, but do whichever one you want. All right, so that's how you uh, do that. And then uh, now when we go back to the list upload page, again, this is after we've created the list and then excluded that there. Now we can hit upload contacts and then select it from your computer. Again, here's my fictional, uh, yeah, fictional thing. Um, this is the mapping step. So if you have these properties, you can keep them. If not, what I all that you really need is the timestamp, the phone number, and again, the country column, which uh, I forgot to save on here. So um, that's fine. Uh, what we're going to say is we're going to pretend this one is the country column. <laughs> Birthday is the country column. 
it's not going to read properly anyway because I don't um, let's see country so yeah whichever one yeah so dog's name is going to be our country column um, oh it already has been mapped where is it mapped okay whatever um, all right well yeah anyway uh, and then this one this is going to be the timestamp SMS consent timestamp that's what that will be um, so that's pretty much what you need again you would have to have the country column on here but I'm just gonna take these off because we don't need them again all you need is the phone number timestamp and country column um, this will work to upload by the way it's just not gonna import consent um, and I'll show you uh, so if, if you get errors by the way uh, let me just show you let's see let's see if this works so that's oh, that's actually gonna work without the country column okay so um, if you get errors on this step uh, with the consent because you don't have the proper country what you can do is use uh, this here where it says update SMS consent um, and what you can do is say I acknowledge that I have uh, you know gotten consent from these people now this is not advised by Clavio because what you're doing is you're overriding uh, this time what what the timestamp does timestamp is what tells Clavio when did this person actually consent Right, so if this were not here, watch. Notice, if I take that off, SMS messaging requires consent, explicit consent. It's not like email where you can just go buy a bunch of information off of a list. These people actually have to say, yes, I do want this. So by you actually clicking this update SMS consent, you're overriding that timestamp. So this is one of the tricks. If you can't uh, get the timestamp uh, formatted correctly, uh, you can go about that. Um, but Anyway, so if you do that, you should get all these green check marks and then just hit start import and it will hopefully work. And then, let's see, four records skipped. Uh, let's see, phone number formatting issues. Uh, this is because, um, as you can see, like I said, the country code didn't uh, take because we didn't have that column in there uh, because I accidentally, I saved this uh, to my desktop before I exported with that country column. So again, you might get this error message. If you don't, great. Uh, if you do, that's gonna be the next video. We're gonna talk about troubleshooting, all right? So um, that being said, let's go ahead and uh, let's go to the next video. And uh, if you want this full playlist of all of these Clavio SMS videos, click here in the top right-hand corner and then uh, click below in the bottom left-hand corner for that, that next video. Also, if you want uh, an answer to any questions, please uh, comment in the, the comment section below and I'll totally make videos. But for right now, let's go to the next video or the playlist if that's what you want, all right? So I'll see you then.